Hello everyone. In today's video, we're going to do an unboxing of our Vault Box Series 2 2023 coins certified by NGCX. What these Vault Boxes are, they're like a mystery box of sports cards in a sense, where you buy these boxes not knowing what you're going to get inside. As you see by the picture, um, there's new supersets inside, there's one ounce platinum, there's one ounce proof gold eagles, there's the 1995 proof W American silver eagle. Uh, there, you know, you have the potential of having a very expensive coin within these boxes. Or you could just have some certified silver eagles, there's really no way to know. Uh, but I'm going to do a couple things before I unbox these and we're going to try to guess what's inside. First thing I'm going to do is get these on the scale and weigh them, see if there's any difference in weight. So that first one weighs 372.75 grams. And our second one weighs 367.85 grams. Interesting. So they are a hair different from each other. Uh, but only about five grams. So what could a five gram difference mean? Well, it probably means that we don't have the same types of coins in each box. Uh, but I guess we'll find out. Um, if we had three certified Silver Eagles in each box, I would expect them to weigh the same. But the fact that there's only a five gram difference tells me maybe one of the boxes has a tenth ounce something in it, whether it be one tenth ounce gold, or one tenth ounce uh, platinum. This one perhaps has a quarter ounce, whether it be gold or platinum, because uh, they're not you know, different enough to be a full quarter ounce or tenth ounce different. So it's gonna be interesting, we'll see. So I think I'm gonna open the heavier one first. So this one weighs 372.75 grams. I should say, if you're curious about these, these are already sold out. They sold out in a matter of minutes. Um, uh, I was lucky to get two. I actually got two in the first series as well. Mine were a little bit of duds. I think I lost money on them in the long run. Um, but uh, each one of these boxes retails for $739. So the two boxes here all in with shipping, I paid just a few dollars less than $1,500 with the hopes that one of my six coins in here is a valuable one and I hit a home run. But uh, we're gonna open them together and find out. So we'll start with the one that weighs a little bit heavy. I'm going to try to be careful as I open this, because believe it or not, some of these boxes are selling for $50 empty. Well, crap, I already scratched it. <laughs> but uh, $50 for an empty box, I, I don't know. I guess there's collectors who just like to collect the box. But you see this has a nice little sleeve on it, which I'm going to carefully take off because I'm going to try to preserve the packaging as best I can. Uh, one thing too about this, there's a, a website you can go to where you can scan the QR code on each coin within these boxes and you can get an instant offer for Vault Box to buy back your coin. So that's really a neat feature. If you're unhappy with what's inside, you can easily sell it back to them and get some of your money back. Or if you ended up with a good coin and you didn't want it, you could actually sell it back and make some money. Just makes it real easy uh, for them to, to get uh, stuff out of uh, people's hands that don't want them. So now we're gonna carefully slit the sticker on both sides. As I uh, mentioned in a video previous, these are certified by NGCX, which is a branch off of NGC. And uh, what they decided to do for all modern coinage, and I believe, don't quote me on this, I'll look it up, um, 1986 and forward for modern coinage, uh, they're gonna start grading on a 10 point grading scale, much like comic books and sports cards. So it really levels the, the playing field as, as I would uh, refer to. Uh, so people who are in different industries, the grading system kind of crosses over so it makes sense. Uh, for those of you who already know, most coins are 
technically all before this were graded on a 70 point Sheldon system. Uh, one being the worst, 70 being the best. And for those who just did sports cards and uh, comic books, it didn't really translate into what, what was familiar to them. So Vault Box decided to do, I'm sorry, NGCX decided to do this uh, in order to kind of, you know, be similar, I guess. So without further ado, I'm going to pop the lid. I'm going to see what's inside here. Okay, this is curious. I don't know what these are, but we'll look at those cards here in a moment. First coin, we got a 2008 Burnish Silver Eagle Mint State 10. So that's a nice looking coin. See there's the QR code on the back that I was talking about that we can uh, scan to see what the instant offer is. Coin number two. Oh, look at that, we got a half ounce of platinum. That helps a little bit. So this is a 1997 uh, $25 platinum coin, which is a half ounce, I believe. Oh crap, it's a quarter ounce. <laughs> Sorry, platinum, that's right. Platinum is a little different than gold in terms of uh, the size and face value. Um, but yeah, this is a quarter ounce platinum eagle, uh, mint state 9.9. .9. Uh, this equates to an MS-69. Whereas this one here equates to an MS-70. So, but that's nice, we got some platinum. Okay, and we got a 2006 West Point Proof Ultra Cameo American Silver Eagle graded a 10, which as I mentioned before is comparable to an MS-70. So put those down there. Now we're going to see what's up with these little cards here. Oh, I see what they did. Okay. Let me get these back into focus here. So it uh, says they are buying the first two complete sets of Min State 9.9 .9 Vault Box Silver Eagles at $7,500 and the second set at $3,500. So they want you to collect a set and sell it back to them, I guess. This talks about uh, NGCX, a grading scale for today's collectors. Vaultbox is proud to grade their coins using NGCX, a 10-point grading scale for coins. Another little advertisement here. Vaultbox instant offer program. I touched on that already. You can scan the code and uh, get automatic uh, offers. After thousands of hours of extensive research, we've developed our newest Vaultbox security measure, this weight-changing card Weight changes try daily as calculated using our exclusive VBX formula. <laughs> Please do not fact check any of the above claims. So really they inserted these cards because uh, you know when the first series came out people were weighing their boxes and uh, they didn't have these cards inside the boxes they just had coins. So a lighter box would mean you got some type of fractional coin whether it be gold or platinum and those uh, you know, people were excited about that because if you had a heavier box, it more than likely just contained three ounces of silver. So they put these cards inside to kind of screw with people, I guess, but very smart. I had no idea. Um, card with a juice box, placeholder for counterweight technology. And then these two were blank. One of them's quite a bit thicker than the other, but well played vault box. I had no idea. So tricked me. I was thinking, uh, you know, it would make sense to open this get this focused here, get this uh, heavier box opened first, uh, but I actually ended up with a fractional platinum coin inside. So I'm uh, genuinely, genuinely pretty excited about that because that is a good pull. Um, ideally, if you look on the packaging here, you want to end up with a pull that has the red. Uh, those are the really good ones, the really expensive ones. So if you open your box and you see the, the red background, you're in, uh, you're in for a treat, I think. So, okay, we're gonna do vault box number two. Try to be a little more careful with this one. So this was the the lighter of the two boxes, but as we just discovered, that doesn't really mean anything because of their counterweight card technology. I have heard of other dealers uh, that have the ability to X-ray these and see what's inside. I think that's a really clever way of doing it as well. 
Um, these are already selling on the secondary market anywhere from $1,000 to $1,500 uh, because there is that chance to get, you know, literally a $3,500 coin right there. Uh, this one's probably $2,500. This one's probably $2,000. So in a sense, you're buying a, a lottery ticket. Granted, they're expensive lottery tickets because as I mentioned, with shipping, each one of these boxes costs $750 each. But we'll see if we have better luck inside vault box number two. Once again, I want to be real careful with this because I want to preserve these because there are some people that are buying empty boxes at 50 bucks a piece. If you're one of those people, let me know. Send me a check and I'll ship it to you. I do still have my Series 1 boxes in the back. I thought about selling them at the time, but I thought, what the heck, maybe I'll wait and a year from now, somebody will want to either pay $100 or they won't want them at all. Get this sticker off. Okay, any predictions? I don't know if you remember, but this box is five grams lighter than the previous. Uh, but as we found, that doesn't mean squat. So we'll see what's inside here. Oh boy. Well, as you can see, I got a bunch more of these cards. Tricked me. Looks like a lot of the same cards. I'm not going to read them again, but maybe there's going to be an aftermarket for these placeholder cards. Maybe they'll be like Pokemon cards. Maybe I can send those into NGCX and get them graded. First coin here. Oh yeah. That's nice. Now this is a type of coin that was not in the first series. This is a 2021 Denver uh, commemorative Morgan silver dollar made by the U.S. Mint. This uh, grades out at a 9.9, .9, which is equivalent to an MS69. Nice coin there. And uh, as I mentioned again, there's the little QR code where you can scan it for an instant offer. That's a decent one. Kind of forgot those were going to be in here. Number two, <laughs> look at that, I got another quarter ounce platinum. Well, for those of you who like platinum, I have some in stock now. Uh, it's something that I don't get very often in the shop. I typically don't try to go out and source it to just have it on hand. Uh, but I do get requests occasionally, but here's another quarter ounce platinum, 2001. It's graded at a 9.9. And a 1992 American Silver Eagle, graded a 9.9. .9. Nice coin. Well, I didn't hit the jackpot, that's for sure. Like I said before, we were hoping for one of these coins that has the red background, um, part of the supersets. But what are you going to do? Can't win them all. So hope you enjoyed this unboxing. I'm going to lay these out for you and try to put things into focus a little better for you so you can see them here. There we go. So good learning experience uh, for you kids watching. Gambling's bad. <laughs> but. Uh, you know, I, I enjoyed opening these. I'm, uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep these or if I'm going to put them out for sale or if I'm going to sell them back to NGCX. Honestly, I'm real undecided at this point, but I enjoyed doing it. You know, if they come out with a Series 3, I'm a sucker. I'm probably going to buy two more boxes on Series 3 as well. Anyway, hope you folks enjoyed this video. Uh, if you're not already, please uh, give us a... If you haven't already, please give this video a like. We're always... Uh, gracious and thankful for subscribers. If you like our content, please subscribe and click that bell notification so you can get alerts as we upload new videos. And uh, if you want to ask a question of a coin shop dealer, any type of question related to the hobby really, please feel free to leave it in the comments because I am compiling questions for an upcoming Q&A. Having said that, you have been great. Thanks for sticking with us. You folks have a great day.